Agatha was a Christian who lived in Sicily during the 3rd century, and during the persecution of Roman Emperor Odysseus, she fled from her homeland and took refuge on the island of Malta. She spent her days in the northern town of Rabat, in a cave teaching the Christian faith to the native pagan children. In the year 251, Agatha returned to Sicily, where she faced martyrdom. She was arrested upon arrival and brought before Quintianus, traitor of Catania, who condemned her to torture and imprisonment. He sent her off to a brothel to be used as a prostitute in a hope to break her spirit. When this didn't work, she was sentenced to physical torture as a way of punishment for her piety. She was stretched on a rack and her sides torn with iron hooks, her breasts cut off with pincers as she was whipped. Saint Agatha was then sentenced to be burned to the stake, but when an earthquake saved her from her execution, she was instead sent to prison, where she later died. Just over a thousand years later, and roughly 1400 miles north of Italy, was the trial of another innocent woman who was executed for her beliefs. Joan of Arc was a peasant girl who was born in 1412, and while believing to be acting under the divine guidance from God, she led the French army in victory at Orleans in 1429, stopping the English in an attempt to conquer France during the Hundred Years' War. But her failure to liberate Paris followed, and on May 23rd, 1430, she was captured by the Duke of Burgundy's men and jailed for more than a year. Joan was later put on trial for a number of charges, including witchcraft and violating divine law for dressing like a man. On 30th of May 1431 in Rouen, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake for heresy and, of course, the crimes of witchcraft. <laughs> the Lancashire witch trials of 1612 are among the most famous in English history and some of the best recorded in the 17th century. The majority of the witches on trial were from Pendle Hill in the northwest of England. The rest included the Salmsbury cannibals, Janet Briley, Jane Southworth and Ellen Browley, as well as Margaret Pearson, the Paddingham witch, and Isabel Roby from Windle. 70 years later, at the other end of the country, was the trial of Temperance Lloyd, Mary Trembles and Susanna Edwards. The three were from the town of Biddeford in Devon, where Mary and Susanna were blamed for causing a woman's illness. Temperance Lloyd was accused of conversing with the devil while he was in the form of a magpie, and multiple witnesses even claimed to have seen him feeding off her inch-long teats. She also confessed to cursing a woman's knee to bleed by pricking a piece of leather nine times. The Biddeford witches were the last recorded women to be hanged in England for the crimes of witchcraft.